Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Edgar Sherman Design Sling. All right, so this sling here uh, is, like every time I use a sling, like we, we come out with a, somebody comes out with a new sling, I put it on my rifle, try it out, um, and I gotta be honest with you, I, I was like, there's no way this is gonna replace my current sling. I love my sling, um, but this is this is a good sling, guys. All right, and I, I've been doing some manipulations and stuff with it. It just it works really well. So let's kind of talk about what it is. It is a two-point carbine sling, right? Plugs into the front, plugs into the back, and it is of course nylon. And then it has these attachment like buckles here, these triglide, uh, triglide pieces made of plastic, front and rear, and then the plastic one here as well. And I say plastic, and there's kind of like a some, some negative connotation with that. Uh, it's a high impact polymer, it's a, it's a good plastic, but they are, and a lot of AR sling manufacturers are doing this now, they're using plastic for a reason. Not because it's cheaper, um, but because you know the plastic, it isn't gonna scratch your gun, which you know kinda who, who cares about. Uh, but if you get tangled up in something, like if you're tangled up in a vehicle, tangled up in a helicopter, whatever, life or death situation, you can just rip out of it. And those, those triglides will break if you put enough force on them. Uh, they'll break when you want them to, not break when you don't want them to, uh, and potentially save your life. So that's why you see a lot of sling manufacturers doing that. Um, and that's why a lot of them specifically do not use metal, is for that exact reason. And I've done sling stuff in the past. Uh, we did uh, a few other sling companies, and we gave the, I mean, this, the same exact reason. So this isn't, this isn't something crazy that they're doing. It's not a crazy sales pitch. It's, it's done like that for a reason. All right, and then you have the actual adjustment piece here, which when I first looked at it, I was like, you know, whatever, it's, it's this like rubber piece that's mounted on this gliding piece here. I'm saying piece a lot because I like, I'm not a seamstress or, you know, whatever fabric weaver. I, that, that's not me. I'm, I'm using I'm using terms I know. Okay, thing is a term that I know and use quite often. So we'll just kind of swim into the the sling here, and I'll show you this buckle and kind of or this adjustment piece and how it actually works, and why I like the shape of it. Right, it's obviously super lightweight and it's snag free. It's not going to get snagged on anything. All the edges are rounded, uh, but you can reach down and you can grab onto it. And just kind of hook into it really easy and the sling is super easy to adjust and on an adjustable sling it needs to be easy to adjust but when you have it in a position it needs to not move when you pull on it and I mean this one this one does exactly that uh, it does not come with QD buttons or just QD pieces in general you have to add your own uh, which is no big deal a lot of slings don't come with these now anyway and a lot of people uh, now kind of prefer to run their sling into directly into the stock or uh, have a sling mounted piece up there which in some instances I do like to do that as well um, but I have QDs on here just for the purpose really of this video just kind of show you guys options uh, but this color here I really like the color of this sling it comes in a ton of colors uh, you'll just kind of have to check it out on our website there's or like a crazy amount of patterns and colors that this sling comes in. This is the Ranger green, and it kind of stuck out to me. I just like the way the green and this, um, I guess that's like a, it's not really a coyote, it's like an earth brown, really. I like the way they contrast together, and I like the way they look on this rifle. So that's the color I went with for this video. But overall, I mean, as far as slings go, on a scale of like 1 to 10, this is like a 9 point nine zero I don't know I don't really have any there's no like rubric I, I go by for grading I just shoot from the hip and that's my that, that's my sling rating all right but no overall great great sling I definitely recommend it to anybody because like I said I've been using it quite a bit 
And oh, I know some of you guys are gonna comment and be like, hey, whenever you were wearing that thing, it was super loose on your body. What's your problem? Um, I kind of sized this and set it up with my plate carrier on. So it's a little big without said plate carrier, uh, but it's easy enough to adjust. adjust you can adjust the um, actual overall length in the back here and, and be good to go. So that's it. That's the Edgar Sherman Design Two Point Sling. If you have any questions or comments, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, let us know down below if you've tried it, what you think of it, uh, kind of fill in all the areas that I missed, if any. I always miss something. But yeah, if you're watching this on the website or if uh, you just need help with anything, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.